Welcome to another Digital Anarchy tutorial. I'm Jim Tierney, President of Digital Anarchy. And in this tutorial, we're going to talk about using our filters on video. And specifically, we're going to talk about using TUNIP, which is something that lends itself very well to video in Photoshop. It's a very complex filter, but once you set it up, you're pretty much not going to make changes to it. Uh, one of the problems with using video in Photoshop is that you can't apply filters and set keyframes. So once you apply the filter, that's pretty much what you're going to get for the entire video. But let's dive into seeing how that is accomplished. So the first thing that you have to do to apply a filter correctly to video is to make it a smart object. So we can go over to our layer palette and either right click on the video layer. And you can see it's a video layer by the little film strip icon that's on the layer there. And also, if we look in our timeline, we can scrub along here and we can see that it is, in fact, video. We either need to right click on this and convert to smart object, or we can also go to the filter menu and say convert for smart filters. And what that will essentially do is do exactly the same thing that we could do here by right clicking and it will convert to smart object. So once we've made the video a smart object, it can appropriately take filters. Uh, if you apply a filter like TuneIt to video without changing the video into a smart object, then when you render it out, the filter doesn't stick and you just get the original footage. But as a smart object, if I come down here and apply TuneIt from my digital anarchy submenu, It will bring up the usual TuneIt interface. We can set up whatever look that we want. And in this case, I'm just going to go for the basic cartoon look. It's a slight modification of the default settings. Um, I've taken the outlines and reduced the sensitivity a little bit. So it's the same look as what you would have with the comic basic preset. And of course, all the other presets are applicable. You can use any of this stuff on video. Some of them are going to look a little bit better than others, but certainly the basic comic effect or the graphic novel effects are going to look great. And so we will click OK. Actually, I'll scoot this up a little bit so you can see the OK button. And that'll take us back to Photoshop. Now we have the cartoon effect applied to the video. If I move anywhere else in the video, It'll render whatever frame that we select. Now, there is a rendering time involved with TUNIP. Uh, it is definitely not a real-time effect. It is uh, a little bit on the slow side. So it will take a second or two for it to render. And certainly when we save out this entire video clip, which is 26 seconds long, there will definitely be a render time involved, uh, probably in the order of 10 to 20 minutes. But this is a full HD 1920 by 1080 video clip. So for any effect like this, we would expect some render time. But barring a trick from Julia Child, I've already rendered this out. And we can take a look and see what that looks like. Go to my testing folder and open this up. And we can see what that looks like. And you can see our model kind of staring at the camera, but you can see how good of a job that TuneIt does on video. It was originally designed for video, actually. And so it does a really nice job of keeping things consistent frame to frame over time. And it creates a really nice look, regardless of what preset you're using or anything like that. And so we can go back to our original footage. And if you do want to render this out, you just go to this drop down menu here. You go to Render Video, which is uh, off the bottom of the screen, but trust me, it's down there. And we'll select that, and that'll bring up a dialog and allow you to name the final video clip, uh, allow you to select what encoder you're going to use to save it, the document size, the frame rate, the aspect ratio, and all that good stuff that goes along with video. But that's really all there is to it. Rendering out video in Photoshop CS6 is an easy thing. And I should point out that this is really a, a CS6 feature. They've really improved the timeline. 
So you can do editing in your timeline and apply some effects. It's fairly basic. If you're really going to do any serious video work, you probably want to go move up to Premiere or at least Premiere Elements. That'll give you a lot more options for dealing with video, but just for very basic stuff, especially for applying a quick effect like tune it and doing some edits, Photoshop can be a really quick and easy way of dealing with that stuff. So once you've imported your video into Photoshop, the first thing you need to do is convert that layer into a smart object. Then you can come up to your filter menu, apply tune it or any other effect. And then once you have the effect set up the way you want it, you just come up to your pop-up menu over here on the timeline and render it out. So very simple, easy way of dealing with video. And it allows you to have the power of using TuneIt on that video to create cartoon effects for your video. So that's it. So thank you for joining me. I hope you found it useful. If you have any other questions about TuneIt, you can email sales at digitalanarchy.com or of course you can go to our website, digitalanarchy.com where we have free trial filters, we have other tutorials on TuneIt and a lot more resources. So check all that stuff out and see you in the next tutorial.